Hello once again, I'm Extra Life. Welcome back to the bench. As you can see behind me, I've added a little bit of tool storage to keep some things off of my workbench and hopefully make a little bit more space, keep things clear, even though it's a mess as usual. And it has helped a little bit, but the pegboard hardware that I'm using isn't ideal and it can't hold some of the things that I need it to hold. For example, I don't have a good place to put my multimeter and I still seem to find myself losing screwdrivers at an alarming rate. So today we're going to make some custom tool holders and give myself a place to put things. So far I've been using kind of an oddball selection of pegboard hardware which mostly isn't right for this size and it tends to not hold on very well, particularly for these big tools and sometimes it comes out with the tool. I've also been using some of these quarter inch dowel pins which are great but they are kind of short so stuff does sometimes fall off. So uh, we are going to make some new custom tool holders out of some wood scraps that I've got lying around the shop. First part we're going to make today is a holder for some jeweler's screwdrivers, which are essential tools for electronics, and the construction of it couldn't be simpler. I've got one right here for my regular size screwdrivers. It's just a piece of 2x2, two two, and it's got some holes drilled through it in one axis and some pegs in the back to keep it locked into the pegboard. So really, it's just a lot of drilling. And after many years of procrastination, putting it off and finding excuses, I have finally bought a drill press. So we should be able to make quick work of this one. I think that came out okay and it holds all the things I need it to hold. And now I need to put in the dowels on the back to attach it to the pegboard and I will lay those out using an offcut of pegboard so that I can trace the holes onto the back and know exactly where to drill. The drill press worked all right. It didn't have quite enough throat on the um, movable table so I had to slide the table out of the way but I found that my homemade miter saw jig uh, actually worked okay as a work holding table, although it would be a little bit better if I had something like a drill press vise or like a, a nice movable clamp that I could hold things down with, especially when you're drilling larger diameter holes. It helps to have a really rigid, stable setup. But this thing did not do bad, and I'm frankly not sure why I procrastinated on buying one of these for so long. For putting holes and stuff, there's really nothing better. But I think I'd like to make this a little bit more ergonomic since it's going to be high up on the wall, getting these out by pulling up isn't always the easiest. So I'm gonna cut a slot 
in the front of the tool holder so that the blade of the screwdriver can slide out through the kerf of the saw cut. Up next I'm going to make some very simple shelves and I'm going to use these. These are just some uh, plywood scraps I found. These were the backs of some drawers someone had left out on the street and you can see this is where the bottom of the drawer used to be so I'll have to plane that flat. And then I'll use some of these three quarter inch plywood offcuts as the backer to put the pegs into the pegboard with. Uh, and then I'm going to use I think some of this quarter inch dowel and plane it flat on one side and use that as a lip around the shelf so the stuff doesn't fall off. This is a pretty good start. It's sturdy enough. It holds stuff reasonably well, but pegboard hardware does have a tendency to drift out from the wall, especially if it's not screwed in. So I am going to screw these shelves into the pegboard, but I would like also to have a lip so that I can set like a pen or something on here and have it not roll off.
Next I'm going to make some very simple tool hangers using some dowels and a piece of wood. And we'll use a piece of half inch dowel, which is actually 3 eighths inch if you measure it, and drill it in, just perpendicular to the wood, but slightly tilt it up. So we'll need to drill these holes at an angle. Okay, here is my setup on the drill press. I've got every clamp in the shop involved and a couple pieces of scrap to uh, hold the work in place. This drill press does have a tilting table, but if we wanted to drill tilted holes that angle the pegs up, we'd need to push them this way, and we could only drill a hole four inches or so from the edge of the board before we ran into the column in the back. So instead, we're going to feed it in from the side and rest the workpiece on this rear piece of stock and pinch it against the front so that it doesn't spin when we drill. While I've got this all set up, I'm also going to put some holes into the support brackets of the shelves so that they can double as tool hangers as well. In order to be able to mount these shelves, the shelves are going to sit on top of this surface here, I'd like to be able to mount this directly to the wall and have a screw through it. But I'd like the screw not to hit any of the holes in the pegboard so that it has something to grab onto. So on the back here, I've got four nearby holes marked out, so I know that if I put a dot right in the middle of them, I can drill through there and locate the screw from the front where it's going to sit best in the pegboard behind. There you have it, an effective storage and ergonomics upgrade to the workbench at the cost of just a little bit of scrap wood. I've got easy access to all of my tools, and they're not taking up space on my bench while I'm working. Before I go, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who is supporting me over on Patreon. It really means a lot to me to have your support, and it means that I'm able to take the time to make and edit these videos a bit more frequently. So thank you very much, and if you're interested in getting early access to new videos and a little bit of bonus content, head over to patreon.com slash extra life and become a supporter today. 
I really enjoyed making these custom tool holders, and I hope you liked following along and got some ideas for your own shop. Next time, I think we'll get back to a little bit of electronics work, checking out some new Eurorack modules and maybe some new prototypes. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.